So I'm rearranging my whole sunroom so I can get all the aloe veras closer to the light. It was so tipsy that I had to pull the dirt out, so I thought I'm gonna do it right here and I'm gonna make a video. Hi, this is Michelle from God's Creation Gardens. I'm in a sunroom with a lot of aloe vera plants. I'm moving things around because I'm rearranging it here and I have a whole, a lot of windows in the front here they put out a lot of sun, but I find that if I put them right up to the window, the leaves start to turn brown. So I have to like control the shades. Sometimes I have to put them back further away from the window and or I'll put them on the side of the window so they do better. Well, anyway, I got this one plant that got big and leggy. I'm going to lift it up for you so you can see it. Here's the pot. It's a pretty big pot. See, it broke here, so I'm going to have to take that off. Nice, a lot of gel. I'm going to use that to take it internally or make a hair rinse. When it came out of that big pot, it has roots right here, but it, it doesn't have any more roots here. The, the, when I planted it, the root used to be, <laughs> hi honey, the, the, re, the root used to be um, right down here. So I'm gonna cut that off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip this upside down. Sometimes when you tip it upside down, the leaves are this heavy, they'll break. Here, they're breaking anyway, right here, see? Because the, they've been bending so much the other way that when they pop, down they break but i've got to peel them off anyways because i'm only going to want to keep this part down here so i'm going to use these leaves so i'm going to take them off and like i told you before i'm just going to use my finger and just wrap it around like this and take them off i'm going to make a pile right here and then we're going to put this in another pot one thing i've been learning as i've been messing with aloe veras for so many years they don't like to be in a around a lot of dirt deeply they i mean they like to dry out fast the problem i have is when i have a big one like this by the time i take the leaves off i've got this long stem i have to bury so i have to put it in a in a bigger pot when i do that you know it does get pretty big it, it grows really well so sometimes i have to do that i have to put it in a pretty big pot because it's got a long neck but that's okay. And as I um, peel these off, you can see the little nodes and stuff that will make new roots. Um, these roots will probably die eventually and the new roots will form on top. Some people, they'll just cut everything off right where they want to plant it and then they'll let it make new roots, which I could do that. I, I have done that with a couple others. I'm gonna do a couple videos where I have actually planted ones with no roots and we'll see how they look. But I'll decide once I get all the leaves off what I want to do. I might end up cutting it and just putting it in dirt. I might just want to not give it so much of a shock and try to, you know, utilize these roots here so that it won't take so long for it to recover. Aloe vera plants are pretty, pretty tough though. As long as you don't overwater them, I'm going to keep peeling these off. They're going to have to come off because in order for the plant to be upright again, they're going to have to come off. I've got a lot of nice, juicy, nice, juicy leaves here that I will enjoy using. And maybe I'll give away a few of them to my family. They like to use them on their face for skin issues. But I can just scrape the gel off of this and put it in my refrigerator, vacuum seal it, and it lasts a long time. That's probably what I'll do. So I'm going to have quite a pile here. I'll show you later. I'm getting to the point where it's going to be upright again. See? But I still got a few more to take off. If I want it to sit like this, see that leaf down there has to go. And this one has to go. So let's take that off. Tell you it's a lot cooler in my house doing this video than it is it would be if I was doing it out in my greenhouse, which is you know adjacent to my sunroom. But this sunroom has nice air conditioning and my plants are used to being in here, so they've adjusted to the cooler temperature. Okay, so now you can see that I'm putting it down like this, but because these leaves are going like this, they're not breaking. So this might be um good right here I could probably do this and so now I've got this whole long thing here see but I'm gonna cut it right here and look it's pretty bendable so I think that I'm gonna be able to bend it like this and maybe I'll be able to put it in a smaller pot that doesn't have as much soil let me think about that okay so I'm gonna go get my cutters I'll be right back okay. all right so I'm gonna cut this right here cut that off and by the way there were two plants two big ones real big ones coming out of this pot. I had this pot and I had these babies were coming out. So I got this baby here, which isn't out. It's not really a baby anymore. Um, here's a little baby with one little root here. And I've got, this is just a leaf that broke. 
and another leaf that broke. And then I got this one. This one was also in there. So I had two big ones that were really drooping. So I'm gonna to have to work on that one next. Let's see if we can get this one figured out. Okay, so I have roots there. Now what some people do is they'll just cut it and leave like a two inch stem right here. They'll cut it right here and just put it right in the soil in a smaller pot and then, um, oh, this one just broke on me. So I think I'm gonna just take off these two leaves since that one broke. There. Okay, so now I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna do this. I could kind of go like this and bend it. It's not breaking yet and put it in a pot. Let me see. What if I was gonna to try to fit it in this pot, which is kind of small. Try to squeeze it in here and put it in here. And then what I'm gonna do is in order to hold these leaves up, because the leaves are heavier than the pot. So what we have to do is I'll use a bigger pot to put it in after I'm done. Okay, so let me um, go do a few more things. I gotta get some paper towels that so I put at the bottom of my pot. So I'll be right back. So I like to use some paper towels on the bottom to block the holes. So that's what I'll do. I'll just, um, I'm just gonna slip them in here like this to hold the soil. Okay, this soil is somewhat damp. So it's really perfect right now to have just some lightly damp soil when you're potting. So I'm gonna take this one here. I'm not gonna use that big one right now. I'm just gonna fill this, some of this soil that spilled on the ground when, the, when I had to dump the plant put it in here and then I'm going to take this nice beautiful aloe vera here I'm going to see if I can stick it in here with the root like that see how I'm sticking it in there and I'm kind of twisting it a little bit to kind of I don't want to crack it if I end up cracking it it's not going to be a big deal but I um, I think I I think I am cracking it a little bit. Let's see. I did crack it a little bit. Maybe I need a wider one. I'm trying to decide. Maybe I should just cut it off. If I put it in this pot, it'll definitely be okay. Okay. Let's change our mind here. What we're going to do is I'm going to take that smaller one and put it in the smaller pot. This one here is a little bigger. You know what I think I might do is, um, oh. Yeah, you can see why I had stones down here. Oh, yeah. The pot it was in was one of those solid pots that I, I just put drain holes in it. Those drain holes aren't that big, though, but it also has a crack in it. So, And then what I did is I put weed barrier. At the time, I had weed barrier, and I had stones in there. So I'm just going to mix the stones in because that kind of helps with drainage anyways. Oh, I'm trying to think of what I like to do is I like to be able to take this pot, which looks pretty, put the plant in here, and then set it inside of here like this. Then the leaves will get held up by this thing. So I think what I'm going to do is that. I keep changing my mind here. There's a couple options. So since I already did kind of bend this a little bit, I'm not going to worry if it breaks. Let's just put it in here. I'm going to stick it in there like that. I'm going to go like this. And... It's gonna be a little bit offset, but that's okay. I'm just gonna fill it up. I don't have my scooper here with me, so I'm gonna to have to use my hands. Ugh. I'm not really prepared. I'm used to working over there in the greenhouse where I have all my stuff. It's a lot nicer in here though, as far as temperature wise. Okay, I'm holding it up and I'm, it's kind of a little bit lopsided. I'm gonna let the neck stick up a little bit because I'm gonna put it in that pot. It'll hold it up. I'll put a rock under it or something, because I kind of want it to be centered. It'll form more roots there. There we go. It's kind of a little bit necky. Normally, I put it flatter in there. I'm going to just go like this. So I'm putting it in this pot here. And this pot doesn't have any holes in it. So when I water, it won't leak all over the place. See how this pot, the bigger pot, is holding the leaves up? I'm just going to let it lean like that, I think, and put a rock here or something to kind of help support it. But I think that's going to be okay. This will work good. Okay, so now at least it's upright. Sometimes you can gently bend the leaves back. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for now, and then we'll plant the other one. It's just such a mess here. Messy, messy, messy. All right. But when I have to move things around, I make a mess. You can see I have a lot of aloe vera plants, and some of them have dead leaves. 
but that's how it goes when you have a lot. People ask me what I do with them. Uh, I grow them and I use them. But because I have a wonderful husband who provides for my needs, I don't need to sell them necessarily and get money or anything for them. We built our, a lot of our homes and moved a lot. And every time I always have a sunroom with my plants. And over the years, they've just grown to multiply themselves. Sometimes I go to the market with smaller ones and I'll sell them and I'll have a little video on the things you can do with them. And, but lately with the COVID and everything, and because I've just, I'm just busy, I have a lot of gardens outside um, that I tend to and have a vegetable garden and botanical gardens. So aloe vera isn't the only thing I do, but it seems like it's the most popular video of mine that people like. So, because people like aloe vera. Anyway, here's another plant right here, the, the other one that fell out. And so this one here, let's see, this one is actually pretty upright already, even with all these leaves on it. But because some of them broke, I am gonna tear them off. So let's tip it upside down. Cause look at, I've got a nice root here with no stem. So it's got a nice root system. It's even starting a new root here. Let me show you that. Little, nice little baby root right there that's coming out. So this is, this is good. I think if I rip some leaves off of this, this is how I harvest my leaves. Most of the time it's when I'm transplanting, then I get to use them, which, you know, I always have. Can get them whenever I want to, but somebody comes here, I have a lot of family, they'll say, I need a plant, can I have a leaf? And I just give them one. My daughter and daughter-in-laws like to use them. Okay, so here, this one's broken. I don't really know if I want to take that many leaves off, so I think I'll just let it stay broken. Usually, sometimes I like to like, you know, make it look pretty and not to have any broken leaves. <laughs> I could take it, but then if I take this one off, all I got is this, and I don't want to do that. So this is good. I think I can um, plant this in another small bucket. So I'm going to go get one because I don't have one in here. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and guess what? I decided the uh, the two plants that, that fell out of this pot here are the ones I'm transplanting. I decided to wash this one out. Remember I showed you it had the holes at the bottom that I wanted to make bigger? Instead, I decided I'm gonna use this as a support pot instead, just like I do this one. And I just put a, a little plastic thing on the bottom to hold the water, and that's what I'm gonna use for this particular one. So I'm gonna use that as a support pot then I'm going to have a smaller pot where so the roots won't be around so much moisture. And I'm going to just put this one in here. I'm putting the paper towels in there. And I'm just going to fill this with a little bit of dirt. Now this thing has to go in here. It looks like this will be nice. This, this is perfect for this pot. But it's not too big. Even though this is top heavy, it's okay to have a smaller pot because the roots don't like to be around a lot of moisture. So I'm gonna use this bigger pot here to put it in after I'm done to hold up the leaves. This is perfect. It'll just set right there and I'm just gonna fill it up with my um, soil. Wish I had a container here. But... Okay, I cut a honey jar, makes a nice scooper. But I needed something to scoop this up with. So I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna put it in here. all the dirt up when I'm done here. I can make a mess. <laughs> there. Oh, that's really pretty. I like the way that looks. It's got a broken leaf here, but that's okay. And sometimes I'll bend this a little, just very gently to kind of kind of train it to go that way. All right, so now, if I left this like this, you know, it'll be okay for a while. It's pretty sturdy, and there's a lot of dirt, so it really is okay like that. But I think I like... I like to give it extra support for the leaves and it lasts a lot longer without me having to, t to care for it. So I'm going to put it in here, see, like that. See, and then all these leaves are resting on this rim, 
but the dirt is down here. So it doesn't have to have all that dirt around it, which means it'll dry out quickly, but it will have a nice support and a lot more weight to it. So this is gonna be perfect. Um, that really turned out good. I'm really happy with that one. Okay, so these two I had to transplant, this one and this one. And I've got some babies, and I've got a lot of aloe vera leaves, and some a little baby I have to put in the somewhere. So we'll take care of that. But thanks for watching, and I hope that this was helpful. Um, over the years, I'm, I'm learning too, and if there's any suggestions you have, I'm happy to listen to them. Uh, for those who know more about this. I use it in my drinks and things like that and making aloe vera rinse, a hair rinse that I make for my hair. There's a lot of videos out there how to use it medicinally. It's so good for you. Most of the videos that I do are just practically how to care for them, how to transplant them, and a few things I want to do with them that I use them for. So anyway, God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.